You can change the skins on your phone, which will change the appearance of the HTC Sense interface, most obviously this bar, as well as the lock screen. You can select the different skins on your device by first tapping on the Personalize option in the pop-up menu. Here, tap on Skins, and you can scroll through all the skins available on the device. Once you've selected the skin you want, tap Apply, and the skin will automatically load. As you can see, the changes are reflected in the bar at the bottom, as well as the lock screen, some widgets, and the notification bar. Each skin has its own unique wallpaper. Loading different skins will automatically set these wallpapers. If you don't want to keep the wallpaper, tap on the wallpaper option in the pop-up menu and select the wallpaper you would like to use. You can further personalize your display by selecting the settings option from the pop-up menu. From here, select Display. In this menu, you'll find options such as Auto Rotate, Screen Brightness, and Screen Timeout. By default, the phone comes with Auto Rotation enabled. As you can see here, the phone changes between Portrait and Landscape Orientation when it's rotated. Disabling this option, you'll notice the phone will no longer reorient. Selecting the animations option, you can choose between no, some, and all animations. Here's an example of one of the animations on the phone. Turning off the animation, you can see rather than popping up, the menu simply appears. Other elements on the phone can also be affected by turning on or off animations. Next, selecting the Brightness option, you can choose to have your phone automatically adjust the brightness, or you can select a static brightness using the slider. Selecting Auto Brightness will remove the option slider to manually adjust. The Screen Timeout option lets you choose how long before the phone goes into standby mode. When your screen times out, you'll have to unlock your phone to access it. Selecting the notification flash option will display this menu, allowing you to choose when the LED will flash. The LED is located on the top left under the mesh for the earpiece. Here, you can see how it will flash, in this case, when I receive a text message. The last option in the display menu is for G Sensor Calibration. Selecting this option, you'll see the horizontal and vertical bubble levels. Place the phone on a level surface, and when the levels are both in the center, press Calibrate. On the Thunderbolt, you can customize different sounds for different types of notifications. To access these settings, select Ringtones from the pop-up menu. Here, you'll see a list of all the ringtones stored on your phone.
tapping on a ringtone, the phone will play a preview. When you found the ringtone you want to set, tap apply. Now, when you receive an incoming call, you'll hear the new ringtone you've set. You can find additional options for sounds under the Personalize menu at the bottom. Selecting Sound Set, you can choose different themed sound packs that you have downloaded. Out of the box, it only comes with the HTC default sound sets. Tapping Ringtone here will take you to the same menu as before. Selecting Notification Sounds, you can choose what tone is played for notifications, messages, calendar, events, and incoming emails. Tapping on one of the options will display a list of all the notification tones on the phone. And as with the ringtones, tapping on one will play a preview. Tapping on each option individually, you can set different tones for different events. The last option in this category is for the alarm sound. Tapping on this will display a list of all the alarm tones on the device. You're able to customize additional audio options on your device. Select Settings from the pop-up menu and tap on Sound. Here, options are grouped into three categories. General, Incoming Calls, and Notifications. When the phone is set to silent or vibrate, you'll see the incoming calls and notification sections are grayed out. Selecting Sound Profile, you can choose between Normal, Vibrate, and Silent Volume Levels. Selecting Volume, you can choose individual volume levels for different tones and notifications. You may remember this screen from the Fundamentals section. Tapping here, you can enable or disable the Vibrate feature. Here, you can select the quiet ring on pickup option. Enabling this, ring volume will be reduced when the phone is moved. Selecting pocket mode, the ring volume will be increased if the phone detects that it is in a pocket or bag. Flip for speaker allows you to activate the speakerphone function by turning your phone over. <laughs>